Hey viewers and friends, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and today I'm here to review the Maniac remake with Elijah Wood. Now this got sent to me from Rossy Boy 19 Ross over in the UK. I'll be leaving his channel link in the description box below, please check him out. Ross, thank you so much for sending me this my way, you really didn't have to but I really really appreciate it and if it wasn't for you I probably would not have um, picked up or seen this movie yet. So Ross, thank you so much. So this video is pretty much dedicated to you. But yeah, I definitely wanted to review this movie. So I have watched it, finished up with it about an hour ago, so it's still fairly fresh in my mind, and uh, let's get on with the review. So most of you already know that I'm a massive fan of the original Maniac by William Lustig, one of my favourite slasher films from the 80s. So I had pretty high hopes for this one, so let's see if they were met or not. So the storyline behind this one is um, very identical to the original. Um, Elijah Wood plays the serial killer, the crazed serial killer Frank Zito. And basically the movie follows the Frank Zito character. He's had a pretty traumatic childhood um, to do with his mother, which he has not dealt with. And um, he's sort of still trying to deal with issues into adulthood and to deal with the issues and the crazy voices in his head he basically goes on murderous rampages killing off young women throughout the city he sculpts them and use the head sculpts to dress up his many mannequins that he has sitting around his apartment so that's pretty much the movie basically it's about um, a pretty in-depth um, going into the mind of a deranged serial killer Alright, so what did I think of the film? <clears throat> well, I tried to keep my hype levels down as much as I could on this one. It was kind of hard because I'm a massive fan of the original and it didn't help that pretty much everyone here on YouTube has been saying how amazing this movie is. So, um, I was hyped for it, but I tried to keep my hype levels to a minimum. I will say that Unfortunately, I didn't think the movie was quite as good as I was expecting to, and I was kind of disappointed with it, to be honest. Just kidding. The complete opposite, actually. I fucking loved this movie. It was absolutely incredible. The first thing that I want to mention is the uh, camera techniques. The, they were really creative, and just the camera work in this movie, the cinematography, was absolutely fantastic. Most of the movie was shot POV style, so the point of view from the Frank Zito character, and it worked extremely well, especially for the type of movie that this is. The POV camera shots were broken up really, really well with um, mirror shots and reflections of the Frank Zito character, and they were perfectly placed throughout the entire movie, which kind of broke up the POV shots really, really well. So absolutely amazing camera work in this film. Now, could Elijah Wood do the character of Frank Zito? That was probably the one thing that I was most skeptical about going into this movie. I'm a pretty big fan of Elijah Wood. I think he's a great actor. I don't think all of his movies are fantastic, but I've got to say his performance as Frank Zito absolutely blew me away. Definitely he nailed the role in my opinion and he definitely surpassed my expectations. He had a pretty big role to fill after how amazing um, Joe Spinell was as the original Frank Zito character. But yeah, Elijah Wood nailed the Frank Zito character perfectly in my opinion. The rest of the cast um, were pretty much made up of unknown actors and actresses or at least I'd never seen them in anything before. They did an excellent job, and speaking of that, I thought it was really good that they had um, Frank Zito as a pretty well-known actor, and the rest of the cast, um, not so much. I think it worked really, really well. Um, the music in this one, um, which I'd heard from a lot of people, was absolutely fantastic. Not wrong, incredible music throughout, and the different scores fitted with the scenes perfectly throughout the movie. So. Absolutely fantastic soundtrack throughout. Um, it does stand pretty true to, or stay pretty true to the original, sorry, but it definitely takes on its own um, modern 
take on the original film, which they needed to do, and it works absolutely perfectly. Um, it's definitely a lot more sleek looking than the original. Um, it doesn't really have that grimy, gritty look and feel that the original does, but they use the um, modern technology really, really well. Um, great use of mobile phones, and then I really liked um, how Frank Zito drew in one of his victims via a internet dating chat site. I thought that worked really, really well. So they really do use the um, modern features extremely well in this remake. Now, on to the kills. The kills were breathtaking. I absolutely loved them. Um, because of the point of view camera style, they were definitely brutal in your face. And I've got to say, very, very shock shocking. I was extremely shocked with with each and every one of the kills in this movie, which kind of surprised me because I am pretty used to um, a lot of slasher movies, kills and everything. I've pretty much seen everything before, but for some reason, the kills in this movie really, really shocked me and I absolutely loved it. They're not overly complex. Um, in fact, they're really, really simple and simplistic. Um, quite stylized, but that was definitely um, the style of kill that they needed for this type of movie. They didn't overdo it. Um, the kills were absolutely perfect. I'm not going to say anything more about the kills or spoil anything, but I do quickly want to mention that the very first kill took me by surprise. I was not expecting it. It came pretty fast, and I was sitting there thinking, what the fuck just happened? And that first kill definitely set up the kills for the remainder of the movie perfectly. So, massive, massive thumbs up for the kills in this movie. Um, great gore effects as well, you know. It was a pretty bloody and gory movie. And just the special effects and gore effects were absolutely top notch. One last thing before I wrap the review up. Um, there was a fantastic nod to the original movie. Probably about halfway through the film. I don't really want to spoil too much, but there was a fantastic little nod to the cover art from the original Maniac movie um, about halfway through this film, which put a massive smile on my face. I thought that was a fantastic thing that they did there, and yeah, I absolutely loved that little nod. So that's all I'm going to say, but if you've seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. Alright, so I think that pretty much covers this review. I think I've pretty much said everything that I wanted to say about this movie. Um, in my opinion, the greatest remake ever made, um, one of the greatest modern horror movies ever made, and quite possibly, in my opinion, the greatest modern slasher ever made. I'm not entirely sure if this does beat out Hatchet 2. It comes extremely close though, if it doesn't. But yeah, in my opinion, pretty much movie perfection here. Pretty much a flawless film which I don't often say in my reviews but I just had such an amazing experience with this movie um, it was absolutely perfection in my opinion so I think I'm gonna give Maniac a score of 5 out of 5 a score that I don't often give a movie but I think it's definitely well deserved in the case of this amazing remake so 5 out of 5 for Maniac if you have not seen it obviously with what I've just said in this review and my score. I highly recommend this movie. Even if you're a massive fan of the original film, I definitely think you will enjoy this one a lot. So, check it out. It's well worth owning, well worth picking up, well worth watching. Absolutely incredible movie. Five out of five. Alright guys, well that has been my review for The Maniac Remake with Elijah Wood. If you've seen the movie, I'm definitely keen to hear what you think of it. If you haven't, go do yourself a favour, pick, pick up a copy right now and watch it, and hopefully you'll love it as much as I do. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed my review, and thank you for watching.